Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called Everyday Hero wants you to use a retro saloon to complete all of the challenges. Now if you hop into your garage and filter retro saloons you'll see all the options you've got available to you. Now luckily there is quite a lot in there which is really really good because it gives you lots of choice depending on what you'd rather use. But in the end, I ended up going for my 1991 BMW M3. Now, I would recommend using a tune because you will need it for the second challenge. So I've got one here called Forzathon, and the share code for that is 158369568. And like I said, that's for the 91 BMW M3. Now the first challenge here isn't so much a challenge, I'm sure if you watch these sort of videos on my channel you'll know that we never refer to them as challenges on here, more of a task. Uh, it just wants you to drive 20 miles in your retro saloon. Now to do this I always recommend heading onto the motorway where you can just drive flat out for as long as you need to until you hit 20 miles. It's the best and quickest way for completing this sort of challenge you can do it throughout doing races and whatnot but if you want to get this challenge over and done with as quickly as possible just do a few runs of the highway probably four and that will be challenge complete now for the next challenge here which i recommend like i said using a tune for it wants you to earn three stars at the broadway windmill danger sign now some cars you will need to do engine swaps uh, and a lot of tuning in order to get three stars on this jump now as for the actual danger sign location it's at the bottom of the map below the horizon festival site and three stars on here you need to achieve 1200 feet that is why i said you will definitely need to use a highly tuned car and as well as that you'll need quite a decent run up now just ignore the fact that i'm in winter at the minute because that does sort of make it a bit trickier but i sort of started my run up from about here and during the month of spring it'll be a lot easier because you'll have a bit more grip but regardless of that you still will need a fairly quick car now this bmw m3 uh, maxes out about 225 mile an hour uh, but you won't need to use all of that don't worry but in order to complete this jump and get three stars you will definitely need to be hitting over 205 mile an hour at least so as you can see here i'm about to hit the jump at pretty much 200 and well leaving it it was about 205 but coming up to it is about 210 mile an hour there and i got just over 1200 feet which is the target and i'm going to show you it again just to show this wasn't a fluke and that the tune does work because like i said this tune is available if you guys would like to download it but whatever car you use you may have to do an engine swap depending on what it is some of them may not even hit high enough speed to get basically hit the ramp um, and achieve the three star score but this BMW M3, if you're sort of struggling with cars to use, definitely this is a great one. Uh, and you can pick it up in the auto show as well for 70,000 credits or less in the auction house. So it's a good all-round choice to use to complete that challenge. Now for the final challenge, it just wants you to win a street scene event at the Edinburgh New Town race. So this is a specific street scene race that it wants you to complete and it's basically up here in Edinburgh. So it's the one in the top right hand corner as you can see there, Edinburgh New Town. Ignore the fact it's part of a festival playlist challenge, obviously this is pre-recorded so it will just show up as a normal race. Now the good thing about this is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want and you can always change the car as well so if you're not happy with the car that you're in you can always swap it about and just remember though you are going to be up against some stiff competition so there will always be higher end sort of supercars or whatever up against you so the lower tuned your car means the lower tuned the competition cars will be but like I said if you are struggling as well you can always tone down the difficulty as it's only a Forzathon event so it's not a festival playlist so it won't affect the outcome um, if you win. So all in all, this week's challenge is a little bit trickier than most, but it's a really good challenge um, and it's quite enjoyable as well. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you've got any questions about any of the challenges, please do say so down below in the comments. But apart from that, folks, I really do hope this helped you out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as that massively helps me. And liking the video also helps me out a lot as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.